Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermit Trent. Today we're going to make Happy New Year cards. Yay, 2020, it's almost here. I can't believe it. Um, two varieties of the 2020, um, one using the gold numbers and then the flowers behind it, and one with the flowers and little gold inside the numbers 2020. So let's get started. Okay, for the first card, I have my paper that's the six by nine, 100% cotton uh, B paper. I just folded it in half, like so, you see? And then I just drew the numbers 20, 20, just simple in pencil, and the 2H pencil on top. And I have my palette here mixed with various colors. It's pinks and blues and greens. This is gonna be whatever colors you like to you choose, you don't have to do the same color as I'm doing. I'm just giving you an idea of how to do it. And um, I'm gonna start with the the numbers themselves. I'm gonna paint them in this Liquitex um, acrylic ink. It's in gold, it's great gold ink. So I'm gonna grab my number 10 Grumbacker brush. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna paint the numbers 2020 with the ink first. You can make this as thick or thin as you like. You can use a gold pen if you don't have the ink or um, gold gouache works well. There are plenty of gold watercolors out there too. Sometimes they're a little too translucent. I want it more opaque. So this ink works really well and it's very shiny. I'm gonna actually have to add some more to my palette. It dries up fairly quickly. So it's really simple. You're just gonna fill in numbers like so I'm doing this rather quickly I mean you can take more time I know you don't want to spend all day watching me paint in numbers and I drew these numbers in freehand um, you could print out from your computer you know there's so much type everyone has got type on their computer and then take the graphite paper and transfer it like pencil draw on top of the graphite paper on top of the this paper and transfer it and then you can paint on top of that so there's your 2020. That? fix this light there we go so now we're going to be painting the flowers all around it. Um, pick whatever colors work for you. I'm going to be mixing up many various pinks and red tones. Uh, if you don't want to use gouache, you can use, I mean, watercolor, if you can use gouache. Just simple petals. We're not doing anything extravagant here. You're going to put them kind of around the numbers. Like so. Next to them and around them. These are really simple. Make it a little bigger. So it looks like the number is on top of the flower. Grab it in a different color, maybe like an orange. Same premise, the petals. Or you can do smaller ones like this. It's 
smaller flowers. I'm going to go in and grab, I have some turquoise, that's nice. To give it a variety of color. but like that start adding in your greens I have mixed up several different greens I have used a sap green this is the sap green of the Cotman watercolors from Winsor Newton pour some petals and branches and leaves This is something really simple. You could paint this on black instead of cream, like the white paper, if you don't want that. It's taking shape just by adding all the, the leaves. It's taking shape. Can add a little darker color, like a little brown, some burnt umber, some branches. You want to add some berries. Just playing around with um, painting flowers and petals and leaves around the numbers. And we're going to grab some red for the berry part. You can make them blue if you don't want it red. Like I said, just playing around. Doesn't have to look like this. Oh, that one bled. I'll take another brush and scoop up that paint. Go over it with the green. Got a little mistake, it's no big deal. Keep building with the flowers. Um, Adding colors, taking the colors. Gonna add some blues. It's like a periwinkle. I'm using my Grumbacker number two brush. You can go into the other ones that I did before, the first turquoise ones, and add in some detail work. Pull this up so you can see. I'll take in a darker hue, like an ultramarine. I don't know about an indigo, it wouldn't go well with that, but you're just making little lines. Nothing seems to be cool cooperating today. Okay. One of those days. Everybody has them.
Same thing with the pink. You can add a darker hue. Get those details in. It's the curse of a Wednesday. <laughs> well, you get the idea. I'm putting in the little lines. Put a darker dot in the center, or you could put yellow. Same thing with the orange, the pale, it turned into like almost like a peach color. You can add any color you want in the center of that. I have this bright pink. Almost future, future like. I'm sorry that this lighting is killing this shininess of the gold. You can see that better. And if you want to highlight the letters, you could do that. I mean, excuse me, the numbers. I'm losing it today. Take a little black. Just go behind it. Just not all the way, just behind it and just behind this. You see that? It just punches it right up. Just behind this. And just behind on this side. You can do it on this side. I'm just highlighting it. Touch the end of the two with the outside of the O. Zero, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I've officially lost it today. In the inside of the two. It really punches it up. Now I'm going to add some little darker tones of the green because I feel like this one tone green is too flat. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to keep building till I get sick of how it looks. I want to stop. And people ask me all the time, how do you know when to stop? Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you go overboard. You just keep looking at it and saying, hmm, is it done? Is it not done? I have those moments often. I'm not immune to it. Most artists do. Especially when you're trying something new. See that green value the deeper green value, which is like the hooker's green that I'm using, just punches up that light green. And we're just going to keep adding and subtracting. Well, not subtracting, but like keep adding some more flowers if you feel like it needs it. Adding just some pale pink ones. Mm, let's see. This is real time, so I'm just doing it as I'm talking to you. It's kind of how I like to work. I think up here it's missing something. 
or I could be overdoing it. <laughs> One of the two. And add that pale pink again. Anyway, you get the idea. That is the first one of the 2020. It's pretty simple. And for the second one, um, I printed out numbers uh, for my computer, my pa you know, my printer, and then I put the graphite paper, like I was talking about before, this graphite paper, on underneath and traced it. So I get a perfect 2020, because now we're going to paint the inside of the 2020. You can see, I don't know if you can see the 2020, but I traced it. And for me, I can still see it, so I want to just kind of, using it as a guide. If you want it perfect, looking numbers, that's, that's the best way to go. I've done this many times. And same thing with letters, if you want to do that with letters. And now we're just going to be painting the inside. So obviously the flowers could be, no, well, they can be, they don't have to all be small. You can make it look like they were cut out. Like so. Zoom in. So you could make each number have the petals or flowers inside. Um, different colors, like this could be all pink, this could be all blue. Change it up. This is such a fairly easy and fun. I'm going to try and do like this as fast as I can. With the little brush, it's, it takes longer to manipulate and do things. As these numbers are small. If they go outside of the lines, that's fine. You're still going to get the idea that it's a two and a zero. You're just making simple petal shapes. You don't need a tutorial on how to do that. Or maybe you do, I don't know. But And then I'm going to try some turquoise. Try and change up the petals. This is just like using little lines, like those wildflowers, the cornflowers you see in the fields in the summertime. Just like that. Fairly simple. And put some over here. So with the how you put them in the two and the zero, you can show the whole flower like I just did over here in certain areas and then show it being cut off. It's a combination of the two. Get it? Two? <laughs> I'm full of jokes today. I didn't add any yellow in my last one. I should add some yellows in this one. My yellow is looking a little muddy. That's okay. So you're going to go around, just keep putting petals around. Some spread. In between that, you don't just do all the petals at once and then go and do the leaves. I, I mix it up in doing leaves and petals at the same time. 
what happens if you do just do the petals before you do the leaves it's I don't know to me it's like you're not getting the natural look of how a flower would be so you're not spacing it out how it would be in nature if that makes any sense so we're just putting petals around you can put little ones branches just leaves add some stems I'm adding some stems in some of these some of these I'm just adding leaves anyway I'm not gonna bore you with every little detail I'm gonna fill it in with the time-lapse and then come back Okay, so I filled it all in, and at the end, I added in, if you can see, the, the, the empty spaces, I added in some of the gold to match the other one. Look at that. So two different, you know, ways of going about having um, Happy New Year cards. And then you could write Happy New Year on the top and bottom. You can you want to do that or not. It's up to you. Have it in the inside. Um, use it for... Um, invitations to a party or I don't know making a calendar for yourself or something like that so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, this is something fun quick and easy you can do when you maybe have a Christmas break and you need something to paint uh, thank you and thanks for stopping by and please like share and subscribe <laughs>